cellular diversity when we look around our planet we find different types of organisms different creatures none of them are unique why is it so this is because this organisms differ in their cellular structure differ in their basic unit of life and that is the cell so this topic is about cellular diversity it will talk about why organisms are different even if we consider ourselves human beings we find different types of cells in a single body or a single organisms for example heart cells are different from liver cells cells are vastly diversified in terms of their shape size life span and other activities this diversity is because they differ in their shape that is the ultrastructure the size and life span and other activities heart the, the way the heart cells perform is different from their activity is different from the liver cells so cells are vastly diversified now i'll elaborate everything first the cell shape cells varies in shape for different organisms have you considered a big animal or a small microscopic animal do their cells look similar their shape differs for different organisms even in the same organisms different cells are found in different parts as i mentioned earlier in amoeba and wbc of blood cell shape is not permanent because in amoeba when it engulfs something from the surrounding to protect itself from any hazardous thing or any foreign body it engulfs the substance and thereafter it changes its shape so cell shape is not even permanent it changes cell shape type so the cells are of different types it can be flat cuboidal this slide is very important cells are different in dif are of different shapes flat cuboidal columnar polygonal rounded slipper shaped oval shaped spindle shaped branched thread like flat cells we find in the alveoli of the lungs what are alveoli we will discuss this in our topic respiratory system a brief introduction is alveoli are the air sacs it helps in the exchange of gases carbon dioxide and oxygen it, it is present in our lungs it is the end of end point of bronchioles so there in the alveoli of lungs we find flat cells cell shape is flat germ cells of gonads are cuboidal in nature 
intestine we find columnar cells liver cells are polygonal R fat cells are rounded in nature paramecium slipper shaped so nerve cells are long thread like now cell size small cells are pleuropneumonia like organisms pplo so this is a general gk question that give an example of a small cell it's pleuropneumonia pplo like organism and the largest animal cell is the ostrich egg so you see the size matters the pplo that is pleuropneumonia like organisms they have small cells whereas ostrich their egg cells are the largest to be considered in plants the largest cell is of green algae that is acetabularia in human body the cell size generally ranges from 20 micrometer to 30 micrometer it is very important to note but blood platelets are this is the human body cell size is 20 micrometer to 30 micrometer this is general but exceptions are obviously there blood platelets these are 2 to 3 micrometer in size human rbc is 7.5 micrometer nerve cell is 3 feet it is the longest in the human body 3 feet three factors which dictate cell size now what are the factors that governs the cell size it is the surface to volume ratio nucleocytoplasmic ratio and metabolic rate you should remember this these three factors that is surface to volume ratio nucleocytoplasmic ratio and metabolic rate if a cell does so much of activity it should have a big size a large size so metabolic rate determines the cell size okay. if the nucleocytoplasmic ratio is large enough the cell size is large now number cell number sometimes we find a single cell in a organism the cell itself is an organism that is a cellular means one celled example amoeba paramecium human infant we have human in infants have 2 into 10 to the power of 12 cells in their body and a matured adult male has got 100 trillion cells that is 10 to the power of 14 cells 